Hello, and welcome to another Herrick District Library video. Today we are going to be introducing Hoopla. Hoopla is another free service that's offered to you if you have a Herrick District Library card. You can access Hoopla through an app on your smart device like a phone or tablet, or through the website hoopladigital.com. Once you are at Hoopla, you're going to tap on Get Started. This is going to help you create an account to access your free content. So let's hit Let's Go. First, you're going to choose your library out of the list, so we're going to choose Herrick. You may need to help Hoopla find your library. And then you enter in your library card number. And click Next. It's then going to ask you for an email address. To have you create a password which has to be between 8 and 40 characters, but those are the only restrictions. And then you hit Complete Registration. It now gives you a couple of um, tips on, on joining Herrick. So you're allowed up to 15 instant checkouts each month. So an instant checkout is something that's going to be available right away, no holds. You are allowed up to three flex titles at a time. A flex title may be available or you may have to place a hold on it. And as soon as you return one, you can right away check out another one. I'm going to tap Get Started. So this is the main Hoopla page. It's got some banners here at the top going over some of their new and interesting stuff. Down here, it's got some things that are recommended. See, this one has a little lightning bolt and says available. That means that it is an instant title. The lightning bolt means instant, and the available means you can get it right now. Whereas over here, this one has two arrows going in a circle. That is a flex title, and this one indicates that you must get on the wait list for it. So you can't check it out just now, but you can put a hold on it, and it will let you know when it's ready. Binge passes are something else that can be checked out on Hoopla and we have a separate video going over what that is. These here are flex books that are available right now. So this one does not count against your 15 per month limit and you can get it right away. Books and audiobooks. So here this shows that it's an ebook that's a book and audiobooks check out for three weeks, and then they return automatically. Movies check out for two to three days, so up to 72 hours before they return. Comics are also three weeks. Music CDs are one week. TV episodes like movies are three days. And those binge passes we talked about a little earlier are one week. Up at the top here, there is a My Hoopla drop-down. So that's what you're currently on. So that's what shows recommendations and things. Here you can go to what's currently borrowed. Just having created this account, I don't have anything currently borrowed. <coughs> also under that drop down, you can look at holds. So if you do have any flex titles you're waiting for, they would show up here. There's favorites. So you can mark things with a little heart icon if you want to remember them to come back to them if you happen to have run out of checkouts or aren't interested in it right away. And your history. So it will show you anything that you've checked out in the past in case you want to go back or recommend it to someone else. I'm going to go back to my Hoopla page. And next to that, there is a Browse. So you can browse for the different categories. So if we wanted to look at comics, we could click there and it will show us some featured comics and different things. I see we have Demona here, which just recently was turned into a Netflix show. There is also a search bar here at the top. So you can just search in general, or you can narrow it down to what kind of item you're looking for or you can search for an author or an actress or a character. 
and different things down there. I'm going to leave it at everything. I'm going to go ahead and search for one of my favorite series, the Discworld series. So there are 48 different results that show up for Discworld. A lot of them are the different books in the series, but there's also some accompanying books that go with the series here. So I want to go with this one here, The Color of Magic. I know that's the first one in the series. So if I tap on it, it brings me to that book's page. Again, here is that little heart in case I want to favorite, favorite it for later. It tells me who it's by. It tells me it's part one of the Discworld series. And if I click on that Discworld there, it will bring me to the series in order, which I find very nice. But I'm going to go back to this first one. You get a little blurb on it. You can see what genres it's part of. And then if I come down a little bit, you can see there's borrow. And again, it reminds you of how long you have it once you borrow it. So if I tap borrow, it again verifies for how long and asks, are you sure? And then you go ahead and hit borrow title. Down here, there's a little pop-up that tells you how long you have it for. And here, your borrow button has turned into a read button. So you can tap on read to open up the book. This just means it's loading up the book, figuring out how long it's going to be in your browser. And then once it's finished loading up, you can see the cover here. If you tap along this side of the page, that will turn the page. And over here, where you have the three lines, that's your menu, where you can get in and change your settings. So you can adjust the screen brightness, what type of font it is, how large the font size is. You can bold it. You can set the background page color. So right now it's just set to a plain white. Um, but if you're on your device and you wanted to read at night, you could try setting it into like gray or dark so it's not quite so bright. You can adjust your line spacing so that you can fit more lines on a page or space them out so they're a little easier to read. You can set your margins, how far from the edge the words get. You can set your text alignment. So most books are defaulted to this justified where they go all the way from one side of the page to the other. But you can adjust it so that it's left which doesn't look a whole lot different, but for some people it makes a lot of difference. And you can also have it set to this two column mode, like the pages of a book, or you can set it to be more like a website and go all the way across the page. You can also turn on what they call vertical scrolling. So instead of tapping at the side to go on, you just scroll down just like on a regular website and then you would hit next chapter to get the next one to load. Also over here is where you can pull up the chapters in case you need to skip around. You can see what bookmarks you've set and you set a bookmark by tapping this little ribbon here. Now Hoopla will automatically remember the last page you were on every time you read. But if you'd like to bookmark something so that you can go back to it, you can use the little ribbon and then it will make a list of those ribbons here. You can also highlight sections and this will keep track of everything you've highlighted. And this close reader 
will close back out to the Hoopla page. It's similar for an audiobook. You would just hit play here and the little player would come up and you'd be able to play through. It is a little different for comics. Hoopla has a wonderful comics mode. Let's see if we can show you that. So I'm going to grab a comic here a minute. Uh, let's go ahead with Nimona. So I'll borrow that. And this is telling you that there's a whole separate little menu. So you can do action view. So let's see what action view is. So I'm going to hit read. And let's get in. So for action view, what you can do is click on one of the panels and it'll zoom right in. And now when you go page to page, it's going to go panel to panel so you can actually read the words, which I think is very handy. And if you click it again, it'll zoom back out to the full page. And then the X here in the corner closes the book for now. So one other thing I want to mention up here at the top, we have what's called a kids mode. And if you tap that, it brings you to the settings and it tells you about kids mode. So you can turn hit kids mode on, on an account, to limit it to content that's suitable for kids ages 12 and under. And then you would set a pin to keep it in that mode. So if you have a child with a library card and you set up a hoopla for them, I want them to be able to browse and pick out stuff on their own. You can turn on kids mode to limit the content that's available to them. And then to turn it back off, you would use the pin. So don't forget what pin you set. There you have it. That is an introduction to Hoopla. Hopefully that helped and you can join us in the next one.